Hi students, Professor Nugent here. In this video, we are going to discuss standardized regression coefficients. Standardized regression coefficient is a B hat. The B hat represents a standard deviation change in Y for a one standard deviation change in X. The standardized regression coefficient is useful for two different reasons uh, when considering the partial effect of a change um, in X on Y. The first reason is when units of measurement are not intuitive. For instance, um, thinking about an index. If the change in an index is not intuitive, then we may want to think of a standard deviation change in the index um, or a, a something measured over a very large range. Perhaps thinking about a standard deviation change in the range is um, more intuitive. The second reason is to compare the size of the partial effects across the explanatory variables. It, using the standardized regression coefficients, you can compare how, how big the partial effects are across explanatory variables um, because the, the partial effects are standardized, right? So you can compare them. If you they're not standardized, then it is more difficult to compare them because they're within their respective units of measurement. So there are two different ways to calculate a standardized regression coefficient. And we're going to discuss both ways. The first way is to standardize y and all of your x variables. i, x1 i through x k i. And what do we mean by standardize? You're going to generate a series of variables. For instance, z1 i is equal to x1 i minus x1 bar all over the standard deviation of x1. All right, that's your Z1i. So you need to standard standardize all of these things. And then you're going to run a regression of Zy on Z1i through Z ki for all i. And let's see why this is going to get us our, our standardized regression coefficients. So we start with the estimated regression, yi is equal to beta naught hat plus beta one hat x one i through beta k hat x k i plus u i hat. We can write this equation for the sample means. y bar is equal to beta hat plus beta 1 hat x1 bar through beta k hat x k bar plus zero because the mean of ui is zero, right? And this holds because the regression equation, the estimated regression equation holds for the sample means. And then if we call this equation one, we call this equation two, we can subtract equation two from equation one so that we have yi minus y bar, beta naught minus beta naught is zero so that these terms drop out from the subtraction of the two lines, and we're left with beta 1 hat x 1 i minus x bar through beta k hat x k i minus x k bar plus ui hat. Good. 
Now we can divide through, we're going to divide through by sigma y hat. And each of these terms, we're going to multiply and divide by their corresponding standard deviation. So let's do that. We have yi minus y bar over sigma y hat equals and we have sigma 1 hat over sigma 1 y hat beta 1 hat times x1 i minus x bar over sigma 1 hat. So we have multiplied and divided by sigma 1 hat. We can do that because it's multiplying this term. It's like multiplying that by 1, so that doesn't change the value of the term. And we're multiplying the entire equation, we're dividing the entire equation by sigma y hat. So we're dividing both sides by sigma y hat, so that doesn't change the equation. Plus, all the way through, sigma k hat over sigma y hat times beta k hat times x k i minus x k bar over sigma k hat plus we have u i hat over sigma y hat. Now what does this give us, this last line? This last line, observe that y i minus y bar over sigma y hat, that's z y, Sigma 1 hat over sigma y hat times b1 hat, that is b1 hat, so that is the standardized regression coefficient, times z1, right? z1 is x1 i minus x bar over sigma 1 hat, plus all the way through b k hat z k plus the error term where b k hat is equal to sigma k hat over sigma y hat times beta k hat. All right. So this is one way to get your standardized regression coefficients by standardizing all of the variables and then regressing the standardized y on the standardized x's. Now we have another way, another way to get the standardized regression coefficients, and that is to let the computer do the work. So method two, use Stata. And you can run your regression of y on x1, x2, x3, so on and so forth, comma, beta, and then we'll typically also write robust. So you'll have robust standard errors, and Stata will also report your beta coefficients, the so standardized regression coefficients. And beta coefficients, standardized regression coefficients, those are one and the same, um, and that nomenclature can be a little bit confusing that beta coefficients is the standardized regression coefficients when typically we refer to beta as the um, OLS coefficient, right? Um, so I'm typically going to refer to this B hat, the standardized regression coefficient, as a standardized regression coefficient. Um, but there is nomenclature that refers to these as the beta coefficients. 
So that's it for standardized regression coefficients. Um, and again, these are very useful for interpreting the effect of x on y when x is measured in units that are not very intuitive and for comparing how big the effect of x on y is compared to other explanatory variants.